And welcome back to another episode of the Weight of It podcast. It's me, Run with Rose, and today, of course, I have another special guest, my good friend Collins. How are you all doing? Hey, Collins, how you doing? I'm not too bad. How are you? I'm good. good so, good, do you want to tell the people a little bit about you, who you are? Um, so I'm 29 years old. My name's Collins Nwagu. Um, I think I'm here because once <laughs> upon a time, um, I lost four to five stone, um, which like converts to. 24 kilograms like 50 something pounds yeah and um yeah i guess you think that's why you're here yeah i, think so. <laughs> <laughs> there's no I can confirm that is why you're here that's why you got the call that's why you got the call yeah. no collins is a good friend of mine we've been friends literally since like college yeah, like 16 yeah yeah we said oh my gosh you were 16 when yeah, you started college yeah, yeah, 16, yeah, yeah. oh my gosh i'm like 30 this year crazy damn yeah, i don't know about you but i didn't envision being 30 no like, no like, it's just it's just here now like literally i think when i was in college i, I couldn't see past dmu literally. like i couldn't see past <laughs> uni like anything after that was just like yeah god take the will yeah. so now being first it's crazy yeah like, that's that people is crazy getting married ah, people having children I'm, like, I'm telling you i went you. to three weddings last year did you and i got three more this year how was um you went to mexico, mexico. Yeah, how was that that was amazing that like, looked beautiful yeah. no i cried at the wedding you cried yeah. oh. but i'm still like i'm still a fucking one <laughs> whatever okay okay (laughs) but yeah i brought collins on because collins just i just think he's you're a good friend and all but he's also very interesting and i think your story is just very interesting and the way Mm. the reasons your motivations yeah they're very questionable very questionable (laughs) but i love the honesty and Mm. i know you're going to be honest Mm -hmm. so yes i'm just excited to get into today's topic so before we do it i've got like some fire questions just warm us up a little bit um cool so first one protein shake or an extra meal for protein extra meal for protein i've never actually taken like protein what's the other ones that people the creatine none of that really stuff. okay never, uncle never eddie <laughs> what <laughs> why, why why have you never taken that stuff i just this is gonna sound make me sound like i'm like very like holistic or something like that but i just don't ever believe in like putting man-made yeah stuff into my body like if i want protein i'll just eat like some beef or chicken yeah or whatever. yeah i've never been the type to take anything it's just not this is not how I was raised as well. Like, yeah. I just believe, for example, if I'm tired, I won't take pre-workout. I just won't go to the gym. Right. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it's a bit forced, but everyone's free to do what they want to do. Like. No, I, I'm the same. Yeah. I remember like every time, I remember the one time, I think it was Esna, I had pre-workout. I said, this thing is making my body mm-hmm. shake. Like, I, I don't think, I think you can get all that stuff in food. Like, li- exactly. literally, that's, that's why when, I, when we talk about Uncle Eddie, like, there's certain things he says I do agree with. Because 100%, yeah. I just feel like I could just eat some meat if Same. I wanted yeah. that thing. But I couldn't understand why some people do it. Like I got friends who who drink protein like every single day, but they don't get enough protein in their diet. So right. Like, so but I think most of my meals I have eat, enough have protein, so I'm like I'm cool on that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Pull ups or push ups? Push ups. How push-ups. many push ups can you do? Uh, I don't know. Like in one. I could probably go like fifty if like there's some financial incentive or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> if, <laughs> if we're abroad and someone says, "All right, whoever does the most push ups, they ain't got to pay for anything tonight." I'll do the most push ups. Like, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, but yeah, I prefer push ups, um, especially because, like, the. Because I, when I remember when we used to like go to boxing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they emphasize push, doing push ups. So I think that just became like, yeah, more yeah, natural yeah. with them. And pull ups are a bit. Yeah. No, yeah. It's not my thing. Okay, cool. And the last one mm-hmm. meet a girl in the gym or get with a girl who never works out. <laughs> <laughs> This question's kind of <coughs> interesting because you know, I've got, uh, yeah, but, um, can't be honest. Um, I don't mind as long as someone's like you know has an awareness of like what they put into their body and yeah, like health and fitness. Yeah, thing. that's yeah. Because you know, I, I used to be the guy who never used to work out, so I can't really judge someone for the choices because they some people aren't even comfortable going to the gym. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I, I get it. So you would meet a girl in the gym. <laughs> 
Because you haven't answered see the question. I, see how yeah, you're trying, to do, you're trying to do politician answer, but not, not on my watch. Answer the question. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go prefer um, to meet someone in the gym. Yeah. Okay. But I don't, I don't approach women in the gym. I never have, never will. Yeah. In this right, in, especially this Listen, climate, end up in a TikTok video. Yeah, oh man. In this climate, it's 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 rough. Yeah, it's and I don't. Rough. I wouldn't even know how to. Yeah, have yeah. you ever been approached in the gym? Yeah, but by like uncles. Oh, how do they start? Um, just like like what literally staring at me, watching um Damn. my workout, and then um offering me some sort of advice. About, yeah, I remember I overheard this guy talking to this girl in my gym. Um, and he said, "Oh, when you do whatever she was doing, I think you should use this and this." She looked and said, "Oh, thanks." I was thinking, all right, bro, say some more. He just, he just left it. <laughs> he just like, left Damn. it. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a weird dynamic because at the same time, I think some of this stuff is also based on attractiveness. Because if someone was, a, if I found someone attractive, yeah, basically, if Anthony Joshua came, and, yeah, show me, and stared at you for show the whole me. two hour you workout. You could be staring. I'm staring <laughs> too. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, but I, I think, think there is levels to it. I yeah. think there is levels to it, but I think also there's some people who are just extreme. Like you're literally sitting there watching a girl yeah. do like squats. Like that's yeah. insane. Whether you're attractive or not. Exactly. Because obviously, gyms and Luton is tends to be like eight percent guys. So when a buff girl does walk into the gym, the way the man them stare at yeah, it's, it's like man them, please act like you've seen women. Before. I act like, like you've been here before. On, it's man, intense. Like, Especially it's, um when I used to go pure gym. Oh, that's the one of the worst. Uh, that's the worst. JD's kinda I think JD's a bit more there's a bit more decorum. Hundred percent. But um pure back in the day pff, Nah, there was, yeah. there was no rules I've been those people there who just come from prison because they, they act like they had never seen a woman before it was too much and then you're like even then you know you've got the car park so you're even oh, just trying yeah, to quickly exactly, exactly. like run to your car someone told me a story about they were walking to their car and a guy like left the gym and like was running towards them and like kind of yeah, got scared because I... why are you running towards me in the car park it's 6pm it's stuck and I was yeah going there. And he just wanted the number, but I don't think it worked out well for him. Yeah, I, I can imagine that happening at mm. Pure Gym anyways, but yeah. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> um, obviously, something I ask all my guests yep. um, who've been coming on is um, what weight are they, carry- are they carrying? Mm. And the reason I ask is because of the name of the podcast. And I just feel like everyone is carrying some weight to some mm-hmm. degree. So, Mr. Collins, what weight are you carrying? Hmm. So, I'm going to go a bit deep if that's... Uh, okay, sure, like, sure. The um, S- floor is yours. Um, so like since the pandemic, um, I became a carer for my mother. Mm-hmm. So um, she's got some mental health issues. So I think just carrying that weight of this day to day, just having to figure out, cool, I want to do this and this, but I have to always think about what right. she's up to. Right, right, right. Um, I think that's the way I carry, and that's probably like why my weight loss it was going so well. And then I think since her illness, I think like things have declined for me. But okay. I'm getting back there mentally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the physical aspect of going to gym, I've been doing that since I was like sixteen, like just yeah. playing football and all that stuff. Um, but I think mentally just getting in that right like flow again that's the way yeah. I carry on a day to day basis but I don't let it like slow me down or nothing because yeah. I think that's not a great way to look at life I just keep going like, yeah 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 you know, of so course yeah, yeah so I, I carry no and I hear that and, I, and it's so funny you say that because um, the conversation I just had with Fidra was mm-hmm. like sometimes it's just not that simple of like as just like meal prep go gym nah, it's because not. there's other factors at play exactly. and like you said if you're like the mm-hmm. Um, the the ability to like have to look after your mom, but then also you're like trying to meal prep and get out of them damn containers. Yeah, it just it doesn't. Like you've got to prioritize. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And it's like just even just like having emotions and like some nights you're like you know what, Jim's cool and that, but no, I'm just gonna eat some pizza. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then it's just I hear like because you're like mentally stressed, you just you just eat a pizza. Then the next morning you wake up like. I feel fine now. I'm like, why did I eat that pizza? But yeah. It's just life. It's just ups and downs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to come back to that. Mm-hmm. But I just thought it would be good to just kind of set the scene. Yep. With like, uh, let's talk about from when I met you, basically. Yeah, cool. Let's do, that, let's do that. Yeah. So, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's start from there. Yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Cool. So, met you in college. Yep. And obviously, you went the size you are now. Yep. So, talk me through that. How did you get from there to where you are now? Great question. All right. So, um, I feel like I was born big. Like, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Wait, sorry. Said sixteen. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Sorry. sorry. <laughs> I'm about to say my whole life story. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I was born big. Stop it. Um, but now, nah, so. But you do feel like you've just always been the bigger. Hundred percent. Yeah. Like I didn't child. ask before I left, but I know I came out the womb on some crazy. Like, <laughs> damn. <laughs> Where did he come from? Like, <laughs> but um. Oh, but yeah, I just always been big. But then sixteen college. Um, like for example, after every day after college, we used to go to like Sam's, and I don't know what everyone else's metabolism metabolism was doing but mine wasn't wasn't working yeah. well because wait i was eating putting it yeah. on putting it on put it on put it on obviously got to uni um i'd say that was one of the first times i felt 
comfortable being big because I started playing American football. Uh, and like in, in the position I played, I needed to be like bigger than everyone else. And yeah. So that was one of the few times I felt like comfortable being like bigger than the average person. Yeah. But um, I say that, but even though like, for example, like in college, like people used to crack their jokes or whatever, like about me being big, I never, f- I would laugh it off, but I never felt all the way like comfortable with like just being the bigger, the bigger person because it's just like yeah, like you just I feel like but I feel like when you're bigger, you have to just get used to it and laugh yeah, it off you'll you'll start p- punching people up for no reason because yeah. people are just having fun, but you just you it just it just hurts a little different. For example, like you go to Nando's, I could order the same food as everyone else, so I'm be like, rah, you're hungry, isn't it? <laughs> bro. We got the same food. <laughs> what are you talking about? Or like you eat something quick, and it's like rah, yeah, fam. I'm like, bro, yeah, we ate that for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but like people don't know they're doing it but it's just like when you yeah. hear the same things all the time it's just like you know what and do you think it's because you're a guy 100% because yeah. I was just going to say like I don't think those kind of jokes would run like, like from women yeah like, no I don't think it, they would it's just more like you no know, like madam are bantering at the end of the day but it's yeah. like when it's like you're dealing with it like on a day to day basis it's like it gets a bit like yeah an, a lot but like I always laughed it off but um, but it's only when so sorry to move forward I um when I got back from uni um, I just I saw I stopped playing football, so I had no real reason to be big. So I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna just try a little something and see what yeah. happens. Um, and yeah, I I think I started off just lifting weights, and so I used to lift weights obviously when I played football, but I used to lift heavy weights. But then I was like, I want to lift weights for more reps, so let me just try and like reduce it and just move around more, like yeah. do some cardio. And um, yeah, just just kept going and. I think over like the space of two years, I had lost like five stone. That I feel like mad. I feel like I could have. I see a lot of people lose weight quicker, but I'm kind of content in the way that like it came off, it stayed off, and I didn't have to like right. have to like cram myself to sleep because I hadn't I didn't get one thousand calories for the day. Yeah. I, I, I kind of like was smart of it. Cause I still wanted to live my life. I still wanted to go on holiday, and I still wanted to be around a certain gender of people and have some fun. <laughs> so like. It was like so. Do so. Do you feel like? Can I interrupt <coughs> you? So, do do you feel like you did it a healthy way for you? So 100%. even though it took longer, yeah, hundred percent. Hence why you're still like good now. Yeah, like I, okay. I um, it's not something I done like on purpose, but I just knew I wasn't gonna like stress myself all the way out to do okay. this because I know what what's the rush at the end of the day. Like, yeah, and like I remember reading this like book or someone on a podcast saying how like when people lose weight too fast, like their their skin starts to hang. Yeah, yeah, And that yeah. always scared me because ain't no one got money for that type of surgery. <laughs> yeah. and I don't know what sort of workouts you can do to, yeah, to yeah, yeah. keep them, to put put it like back together and stuff. Yeah. But um, yeah, I like the way I'd done it because yeah, I just took my time with it. Like I was, obviously I was intentional, but I just took my time and just, I think like the, the lowest amount of calories I ever ate was probably like 2,500 in one day. Obviously I'm a big guy, so like, I think when I Googled it, my main maintenance like calories was like 4,000 something. I was like, really? Oh. But I d- it was just a random like, oh, wow. when I started, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I yeah. thought I could just work out, sweat, and just go home and eat whatever I wanted. Right. Like, I thought <coughs> if I just start exercising differently, I'd lose weight, but there's so much I had to learn about just my body as, as well. Yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Okay, wow. Okay, interesting. So you so you said like, in all in all, it probably took around like, two years. I'm saying, yeah. And uh, do you know what? I really respect that because, like I said, the previous conversations I've had with a lot of women here mm-hmm. has been more like we know that if we were to like basically do like a crash diet or mm-hmm. like completely restrict calories and carbs, we get the results in like a month. I understand, yeah. But then we know we'll put the weight on it in a month too. Exactly. Whereas like doing it the longer way can be really frustrating just because we know there's a shortcut. Mm-hmm. But then doing it the longer way is like, ah, oh, like you could yeah. be in the gym for two months, you ain't seen no yeah. one change. Mm-hmm. Like, do you know what I mean? So I think it's really good to hear that you did it the long way and you're actually happy that you did it the long way. No, I was actually speaking to my brother about this um, this morning because it is, it, it, at the time, like, I'm making it seem all good, but at the time, I think going to the gym for like a month or two and you know the scale's not moving, you don't really notice any change in your body. It's, uh, that can be like mentally very like tough to just handle. But yeah. I don't know, for me, it was kind of different because I always envisioned myself like just being smaller. Like I've always wanted to be smaller like, just from early. Yeah. And like, so I just pictured myself, if I just keep going and doing what I'm doing, I'll be smaller Over one day. Time. And like, so when I actually like reached like a smaller weight and people were like, bro, I can't see Yeah. So I said I look skinny. It's like, hey, chill out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> what yeah. Are you that for? Like, yeah. But um, just. Just when I got there, I, was, I always felt like this was time was coming, so I didn't even feel like I wasn't really surprised. Like just, right. I kind of just knew like this day was gonna come one day. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
No, I've, I respect that because also, like, it's true. We can Everyone can just be like, oh, yeah, two years. But, like, getting past month one, two, three, tough. it's tough. And you know how the body works as well. Like, you could, for example, when I started off, like I said, I was doing just weights and doing a lot of reps, and doing some cardio. But I think the way my body works, I don't know about everyone else's, but my, I think my body kind of got used to that. So the workouts became easy. So I was like, all right, cool, I need to switch it up. Switch it up. Then I think I added in um, hit. Yeah. Um, I think I just literally were typing on YouTube, hit workouts to lose weight. Yeah. Started doing them. Yeah. Then randomly you find like YouTube series where people are just like doing the same thing as you. So yeah. I thought I'm going to copy this. Yeah. Then I think I went for my first ever run with you in Tesla. Oh, yes. And, oh, uh, yes. and I think I was, after that run, I think we ran for like 20 minutes. You guys are obviously very far ahead of me. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. But, um, <laughs> I think I ran and like when I got home I felt like really good and yeah the next day I think it was the next day was like the the day I got on the scales and like obviously I lost weight but it was like a lot of water weight yeah but I was like oh this is um yeah this it's is, good, this is good. So, yeah. I thought, so I added in running and then I did in boxing then we yeah again. so yeah I just had to switch it up to to keep my body like yeah um there's I hear a, it there's a, there's a technique it's called I can't think of it now but just to like shock, shock your body yeah yeah and um I can't remember what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I hear it because I I agree that them times when we used to do boxing, yeah. oh my best, my body was at its Literally, best. Because uh, that's when your bo- your body's working overtime. Overtime. That, that guy used to push. Us oh, like. I honestly, if there's one thing I feel like I lost since the pandemic was that that boxing honestly. because I remember I used to run from yeah, my yeah, mum. Yeah, I used to yeah, run yeah, from yeah, my yeah. parents' house yeah. to boxing and then run back home. Do you know, that was like my most elite day of Listen, the week. I think it was like a Tuesday and a Thursday. Yeah. And like, I would run in the mornings before work. Yeah, same. And, and then, then do the evening. And I felt great. Amazing. And they, I used to come to the men's class specifically. Yeah, yeah, no, I used to. Because I was like, the, when I went to one of the ladies' class. I said, no, I hate when they do this. Like, you, take like, it easy on us. You take yeah. it too easy. Yeah. Like, push us. And mm-hmm. then I was like, no. I'm, and I'm told, I said, I'm coming to the men's one. And I went to the men's one. And I've sort of you there, Gabriel yeah, was Gabriel's there. Yeah, Gabriel's yeah, yeah. And he did. He went a little bit easier on yeah, me. Yeah, I, me- I remember that. But I was thinking in my head like, you ain't got to go easy on that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, he wants, he wants I to want. Be treated, look I like want us, to like, be treated like the yeah. man. Damn, like if I do something wrong, tell me to do exactly, push-ups yeah, as well. Yeah. Like I might take longer. Like, I don't mind taking longer, mm-hmm. but I just want to be at that level of intensity. Yeah, that yeah. was my thing. And I think over time he started to like get me, yeah. and he would, like push me. Yeah, I remember like even just um, my first couple of, like times there, he used to give me like special treatment because like obviously just some like real actual boxers in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously ten times fitter than everyone else. And he would like say, "Oh, come and do this and this." Like, no, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. I'm taking way longer than them. I remember one time, you know how the end we used to do core. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this one time, I don't know if he was annoyed or something, but he made us do like 50 push-ups, 50 ab crunch, just 50s of everything. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. obviously, th- these boxes are just light work, light work. I took time. I'm talking like 10 minutes after everyone else. Yeah, yeah. Done. But shout out to them, man, because they used to like they used to say, "Yeah, keep going." These is just yeah. sit right next to me and to say, "Keep going, keep going." Yeah. I, I really know, liked them. Yeah. And I, the, I didn't know them, but yeah. they were so love and I respected that. So They were so supportive. Even when we used to go in, in our te- like teams mm-hmm. and do like the little boxing stuff, yeah. they would like, I could tell they were being gentle, but not like, oh, don't just do five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, just keep going. Mm-hmm. Like, come on, Rose. Da, da, da. Yeah. I loved it. I love, does he still do classes? Nah, they, um, I think because they like cut the funding. So, oh, like, great time, man. Doesn't, yeah. But I, I've been looking at other ones, but I know there's something, about that, you know. Yeah, there's something about that class that, yeah. I feel like I can only go to that class. So There's one in um, Hot Ring. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been debating testing it out, but I feel like I just got to be in, I don't know, for me, i got to have like a big holiday coming up or something. <laughs> 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 to push you to do that. <laughs> and I'm gonna be, I'll be there four times a week if I do that. I'm so done. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you've now started to, to lose the weight. Mm-hmm. You've, you know, you've, you've, it's taken you two years, but you've got there. Yep. Like, what was your motivation um, during this? And be honest. All right, so obviously there was like, no, like I said earlier, I, n- I never really enjoyed being the bigger person. Like I just always wanted to just like, you know, just be like a, a decent size. Um, but then you know, as time went by, <laughs> <laughs> things change. You know, people, certain genders or people start to. Who are these say say? Oh, like like just the women, like you yes. Know, started, I don't know. It just it just it just felt a bit different. So I ain't gonna lie. I kind of like got sidetracked, and my goals became like you know, cool. I want to look good for like um, the other sex. And um, why are you being so poli- like political with this? <laughs> you wanted to look good for girls. <laughs> yeah, you can say that. Yeah, that's a, that's a great. W- I like the way you said that. I like the way you said that. Um, I'm moving like a politician. Let me, yeah, let me like say. relax. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, what was I saying? Then um, I think, for example, like when I posted on Instagram about my weight loss. Um, 
but the DMs are going crazy. Crazy, man. Is I'm it? Like, Without even people, it's actually going crazy. Nah, though, like, I'm girls, talking like girls I'm, are always following you. Yeah, so for example, like I ain't spoke to someone in two to three years. I posted that in my DMs, like acting like one of the best of friends. I'm like, is it? Or like even like this one um, girl had said something like, um, I I always wanted to get to know you, but I just felt like you didn't like love yourself. I was like. <laughs> Don't 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 push it. Like, cause I I always like I was always confident. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Even if I felt uncomfortable, or didn't feel confident. I always like I feel like I always appeared confident. So like, yeah, people just making all sorts of like rubbish in my DMs, and I think that kind of got to my head. So like, my motivations kind of changed. And for example, from the day I post on Instagram, I ain't lost weight. The, the number on the scale hasn't gone down since that day. Okay. So it kind of lets you know, like, but obviously other things in my life had happened and changed. Yeah. But yeah, I think when I realized, cool, I started for the right reasons, but as like I went along, I kind of right. got sidetracked. And then, obviously, then I took this weight loss to Miami. <laughs> Miami. Rose. Spring was it spring break you yeah, went? Yeah, 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 I remember. I remember Rose. we you we couldn't rest. Rose. Nah. <laughs> and there's one listen, T-shirt. Yeah, listen, I still got it. I'm still there. I'm still there. Wait, was it a t-shirt? Is it tank? What is it called? No, a t-shirt? No, no, a, it's a vest. A vest, a it's a vest. vest yeah. There's one vest, yeah, guys, that Collins would never let go of. He wore it in Miami. We saw him there all the time wearing it. <laughs> Lockdown when we were all like on house party, <laughs> on like house you, party, me, yeah, yeah, Ashley, yeah, yeah, everyone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, you way. wouldn't even be in the full frame. He yeah. would just be there, just the arm, half body, or just a like like half, they, just so we can I, see all of this. And we'd be like, Collins, move so we can see your face. He'd be like, Oh, what? You can't see my face, and then you start flexing. And you know like you know when somebody's like but you know we're so happy for you no, no, like, no, the no. confidence what, yeah. was so like mm. he's like you know what just, just do what you got to yeah, do yeah no, that's what I loved about the girls because like you guys actually like we encouraged you you encouraged me and like you let me know every time like you saw me like oh you look good blah yeah, blah yeah, like, yeah. I always felt good because you know other people have like ulterior motives but I feel like you guys just like yeah yeah like, yeah, yeah. we, we, we let like, you run with the vest yeah, and 100% that vest that vest house party then what did we start doing after house party just FaceTime calls yeah in, like Oh my gosh! Or like even when we started linking up after like the rules said like you were still with the no, best. I still had the best underneath. Like, <laughs> this one white vest. <laughs> let it get hot in this room. <laughs> <laughs> he would always win, and you know what it is. But I think, like you said, as as your like female friends, we were just so happy that you were just mm. in this moment. Yeah, for real. So we just had to keep guessing it, and then yeah. remember, we started to be like, "Raw, is that your arms?" Yeah, and be like, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was a blessing, man. It was a blessing. <laughs> but yeah, Miami was just like, for example, wearing the best as I was like, you know, people coming up to you like. I like your arms and then I start talking with the accent <laughs> that isn't American. Yeah, that can that can that can get to your head, but So I, that that started to motivate you 100%, more. Yeah. Um then like, I thought I don't say luckily, but lockdown I think I was in Miami from March the twelfth to the nineteenth. I remember it like it was yesterday. Yeah, no, and, you know the date. <laughs> <laughs> you know the dates. And um I think lockdown I flew back and it was locked down. Like I remember yeah. us being on the train and there was no one on the train, was it? Yeah. I think I had messaged you and like, oh yeah, do you want to like link up and exercise? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you, can't, says, bro, you can't go outside. I can't like, even see you. Like, like, what do you mean? Like, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. know how serious it was to actually land. It was like, oh, this yeah, is real. Like, yeah, we couldn't go for restrictions. our runs. It was crazy, but yeah. So yeah, so when I you know my motivations changed, I think that's where like I kind of hit a plateau. But um, yeah, but yeah, I go through ups and downs. So yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. And then like, obviously, you stayed the same way even after like lockdown. And then I remember. Mm-hmm. Was it like two years ago? There was a time we spoke on the phone, oh, and I've, we were both in the same boat. Oh yeah, I, I fell off. Like we I, both basically fell off. I fell off bad at like, the same time. Like I don't even know what I, I think. Obviously, going through like my mum's yeah, situation. Yeah, because stuff happened to your mum. Yeah, um, because I ain't gonna lie, my mum used to be my cook. So when I had to start cooking for myself, it's like I, I think not naturally. I just became like a a bit like lax of it all, and then yeah, start ordering food more than I should, and then yeah, because like, I don't know about everyone else, but I feel like when it comes to weight loss. I think it's an eighty percent diet for me. Yeah, twenty percent. Like, like I said, I've been working out since I was sixteen, so like that's the easy part. Yeah, I think diet and having to cut back and like eat more greens or like more fruit that yeah. was like the tough part because I'm I enjoy it now, but when I first started, I didn't in, even enjoy the taste of like salad. Like, right. And so, how did you get to a point where you did? I just I just knew I had to eat this to, if I mm. wanted to look the way I did. And like I'm the type of person like for example if I know if you want to go on holiday and we have to stay in like a hostel. Actually, no, let me not push it. Um, I'm trying to think of something. I'm trying to explain basically, like, I'll do what I need to do in a right. situation to like get through it, right? And, um, okay, yeah. So, 
Sorry, I keep getting to the question. No, no. <laughs> I keep forgetting the question. No, no, no. It's fine. I was saying how like um, we both fell off at the yeah, same, yeah, yeah, the yeah, same yeah. time. Yeah. And I remember, I think yeah, it was so weird because I think I just called you to vent. I don't even mm. know. Yeah, I think and it was just a random like, oh, do you want to work out or something? Yeah, yeah. And then when you were telling me, and I was like, oh my gosh, we're in the same boat. Yeah. And it was like, I kind of felt seen mm-hmm. because I think because we'd like lost weight, like kind of together. Yeah, yeah, listen, yeah. Same. I feel like during the same period, like you were posting like your pictures up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, and then you were still doing the vest. Yeah, yeah, at the shit, same same shit. time. <laughs> so it was kind of like okay, because obviously I couldn't get because the Tesla wasn't even like local. Nah, and, he was and Tos- far. Tesla was like my person, like runner. Yeah, he would run with me or he'd come to the gym with me, and mm-hmm. I couldn't access Tesla. So I was like, okay, cool, Collins, let's get back on it. And then I just remember you just got back on it. Yeah, like for, something about me, I don't know. It's like I just hit a switch in my head, like yeah, and I just like cool. This is what I got to do. I'm gonna yeah. do it. Like there's no real way to stop stopping me like yeah but at the same time i kind of like the way like i can still like do what i need to do monday to friday and then i might you know we let loose on the weekend a bit but yeah when i'm locked in i try my i know it's going to sound like boring but i try my best not to like go outside and drink or like okay. eat fast food because like i said when it comes to me like if i for example if i eat bad for two days like i just feel like the worst person because right. like yes i feel like i've just cancelled all my progress for like life even though the body doesn't work like that it, like your body doesn't okay, actually change that that much but i feel like within myself and like when i look in the mirror i'm like ah i put all the weight back on but i think that comes from being bigger in the past right like, there's always that like no one tells you that when you lose weight you actually have to work on your insides to tell yourself you lost weight like obviously yeah. people are telling me i look good and all, all that and i lost weight but i know some days i wake up looking in the mirror like Collins, you fell off already. Like, yeah. like, I don't I don't know how to explain that. But yeah. You almost feel like you're one cheeseburger away. And you're from, not, but it's you're like, really not. Yeah, but it's just like the way I know when you just accustomed to looking a certain way. Yeah. It's just like, yeah, I can't it was just very strange. Like but, Yeah. But even, yeah, when I lost the weight I had to like tell myself, Collins, like, you're fine, like Yeah. You you've it's, lost weight, like it's okay yeah, to can, go and eat go go out and eat that McDonald's. Like, yeah, it's, fine. it's okay. Like, I have like some balance. So like, do you feel like you you have quite like a good balance between the two? Like hundred percent, yeah. Okay, like, good. Um so for example, like through uni and stuff, I ate a lot of takeaways. Like if I went on my I think just eat was a thing. Yeah. Back in uni days. If I went on my just eat and looked at it Yeah. I was that's I ran through pizzas, whatever's for example right, I think I had like a problem because I remember there would be times, like my housemates don't even know this, there would be times yeah, I'd order something at like 1 a.m. And if I didn't like it, I'd still eat it and I'd order something else. Oh, because you didn't like that? Yeah. Do you know how mad that, that's like 4,000 calories in that in yeah. at like 3 a.m. I feel like for me, like eating late at night is like one of the worst things I can do. Okay. Um, so like for now, I try to eat by like 8 p.m. Okay. Because I, cause I think you, you sit in intermittent fasting. Yeah, well, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So yeah. like my eating wins were 12 to 8. So I've, I think when I was doing that for like a whole year straight, obviously not perfectly. Like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Trying my best. I think I just became accustomed to stopping eating at eight p.m. So okay. Eating late is just like real bad for me. But, okay. Yeah. So how do you feel like you've been able to strike that balance? Because I think that's a that's that's for a lot of us that mm-hmm. can be the difficulty trying to strike that balance. And obviously, between like um mo- eating in moderation, mm-hmm. having like a cheat meal here and there, or you know, how do you? strike that balance especially with like the things you said at the beginning mm-hmm. you know you're also trying to navigate um caring for your mum mm-hmm. as well so how have you been able to to do it all and in my opinion do it so well mm. um thank you first um because you know some days it's like am i am i good at this but it's yeah like, it's just no you're definitely you're yeah. definitely doing it because it's, it's been some some time now mm-hmm. like it, it, think, it your, mom, so, your yeah, mom so. yeah and i think you've done like uh, as a friend i mm-hmm. can definitely see like you've definitely tried to just you're still working, yeah, no, just, you know, for the new whip. Yeah, You've got the new whip, yeah, yeah. you, you know. Yeah, have you seen, yeah, yeah. seen the new whip? <laughs> 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 like, I, I, as a friend, it's like you wouldn't. If I didn't know, yeah. there's no way I would have seen. See, I, that's that's beautiful to hear. Thank you, because I try like, I never want it to be seen that I'm like going through what I'm going through. Because yeah. I just want to like, mo- not see motivate people. I just want I want people to know that you can go through whatever behind the scenes, but yeah, as long as you carry yourself in a certain way and like everything will be alright. Because like, yeah, I would say I got close to God as well. That really helped. But okay. To answer your question, for me, I think planning my meals like is always best. Like mm-hmm. at my when I'm at my best, I'll like on a Sunday night, I'll say to myself, "Cool, tomorrow morning I'm gonna eat this. Then mm-hmm. um, I'm gonna make this, and then I'll eat that for like three more days. Mm-hmm. And then my dinners, I kind of freestyle with it, like because okay. I'm at um, a gym which is next to a little, so I might just walk through there and see what's you know, the yeah, what's yeah. produced or like. Um, but I try to eat the least amount when it comes to dinner. But lunch, I always like. I, f- I fill myself up. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah, I say definitely planning my meals in advance. Yeah. 
um, has always helped me. And um, when it comes to like going outside, as long just I always tell myself, just respect. I used to set a reminder on my phone for like 10 p.m. like when I go out, like respect yourself. Like, really? <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, and I'd see it. I'd be gone as well. I'd be like in a bar or a club or something. And you just, just see something saying respect yourself. Because because you have to respect when it comes like when you got like serious goals and like you want you have to mm. be disciplined. You can't just like mm. go outside and say you know what, forget. Okay. I don't, and just over drink, over eat, all that stuff. So yeah, I just have a reminder like respect yourself because that's what it always came down to. And my mum used to tell me like respect yourself. Like okay, if, so if I was acting out of character, like, so you feel like you're even hearing it in your mum's yeah, voice. Yeah, so, like, I'm even reading it in her, in her voice. So it's like do you know that's really that's really interesting. Mm. That's such a man thing to do as yeah, well. Yeah, it is. It is I feel like that's such a yeah. so. And I want to touch on that. Yeah. Obviously, like with women, mm -hmm. you know, most women are trying to like you know get the waist down, big yep. bum, and we've got a lot of you know influencers doing Hunting, it or yeah. whatever with a, like from a boy's point of view like you know there are also lots of men who are really muscly and mm -hmm. stuff like that when you see that either in the gym or on socials does it like make you feel like okay i need to be like that or like is it like do you know what's that kind of what what thoughts happen that's a great question i would say um firstly i don't know if, my friends have always been good to me like if when i've been like even when i was bigger like no one ever like threw shade or like mm -hmm. i don't think only one person's ever called me fat out of my friends. Oh, really? I ain't gonna call it Mara or nothing, but like, only one person, <laughs> well, face to face has called me fat. Um, but, um, I wouldn't, I don't, personally, I don't really feel any pressure, like, mm -hmm. obviously I'm on Instagram and I see like, you know, people with like, 10 packs and or, like, chiseled <laughs> biceps, I'm like, but I don't really, you don't aspire for that, I, yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna be comfortable in my own body, like, that's what it, like, what it comes that. down to, cause like, I've been, very uncomfortable with my own body so like just I just want to be comfortable with what I see when I look up in the mirror and like sorry I can't say it out loud but um <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be comfortable with like you know when when I look in the mirror and, yeah um so yeah I don't really obviously some I'm, I'm making it seem like I'm perfect but like some days you know you might get on the gram and you see like something you're like damn like, I want to look like that but yeah 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 I just want to do yeah just want to be comfortable with what I see yeah so yeah I don't really feel uh, even between my friends like, obviously a lot of us work out but no one's really like body shaming or yeah. like, saying oh you need to do th this and this like, yeah. we all just like push each other I think by by example yeah, yeah, like yeah. for example if I told my friend oh yeah I went for a run at like 6am they'll just hear it and like alright cool I'm going to join you tomorrow or like I'm going to go on yeah. the run. I'm going to let you know how it goes so yeah. even with my brother he started running like a couple months ago yeah. and like he'll like screenshot his Nike run up and send it to me so it's like okay. I think we kind of motivate i feel like well the men that i like associate with like we can't just push each other like indirectly like and um yeah like, i got friends who are like all the way like ripped so like every single muscle is like <laughs> pulsating on a day-to-day -day basis pause <laughs> <laughs> that sounds crazy not <laughs> the pause um but yeah like yeah i think I, I just get motivated by like the people around me and like yeah cool, he does this and this like even just the other day when i was at the super bowl with my friends just seeing him like the way he like prepares his his meals and stuff like cool i want to I yeah. add that into my like day to day so yeah. yeah i love that i love that because it's um one of my other guests also said that it's really important to have like a good like uh, um friends around you who, yeah. who motivate you and don't like body shame you and mm. stuff and and i think what i'm also hearing is the fact that it wasn't so much about trying to be looking like this person or that one but mm. more so to just like feel good in how 100 how you look and yeah. i think I don't really feel like, I'll be honest and I don't really consume like male fitness content anyways mm. but when I do see it it's just very much like you know they're eating like a hundred eggs in the morning and like <laughs> having like 10 million cups of pre-workout yeah. and pushing all the weights and sort of stuff but you don't really hear them say that kind of like oh I just want to look good myself it's kind of like guys you know if you want to do this you've got to wake up early you know right? be disciplined you know stop like, being a bitch yeah. da, 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 da. so yeah. sometimes I wonder like is this how men see fitness and stuff no. but it kind of sounds like not really no, not me personally no like i know there was that i don't know if you heard of 75 hard yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that was something that was like going around like even just like my friendship circles like people were talking about doing it but i think that's the biggest like push i ever felt to do something i don't i see the content that you're talking about it just doesn't really move you move me like, yeah because i've i've lost weight so i was like you ain't got to do those crazy things well, yeah you can if you want to right but I feel like that comes with. I just know who I am, so it's like I knew if I, I know, ate five hundred calories in twenty four hours, I'm not going. I'm just not going to be happy. I'm yeah, just gonna, I'm going to be irritated because I, I'm one of the people. If I don't eat, you're gonna know that I ain't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it's just like I just feel like I need to. I just need to be happy when I'm even like when I'm pushing for my best and like trying to lose weight. I yeah. just always want to want to be happy. So yeah, I could go that route, but it's just not something that. 
yeah it is it's necessary i hear yeah. that okay cool and like lastly mm -hmm. so obviously we've spoken about you spoke about the weight that you're carrying mm -hmm. um and like you know you've been like you plan your meals ahead of time mm -hmm. to like keep, keep you balanced how do you feel like things are going now with like trying to keep that balance trying to look after your mum and things mm -hmm. like that do you feel like you've you're good with that now i feel like this year um since it came around i've been like i had like a new fire within me to i'm probably going to try to go for like another like couple stone this year okay um but yeah, it's just taking me a while to like get to the mental space I want to be in. And I feel like I'm finally here. Like a lot of good things are happening like outside of like you know my day to day. So like Yeah. Um yeah, I feel like I'm in a good like space to push for like more and just 'cause I never really had like a weight loss goal. I right. just wanted to be comfortable. Yeah. Um so I feel comfortable now, like I go outside and don't feel like everyone's staring at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh wow. For example, like I remember going to like when I was playing football, going into meetings with like sponsors and they'll be like the first thing they say is, Oh, he's massive. It's like, mm. Damn, like, you ain't got yeah, you can't compliment my lips or something <laughs> like. Why you got to talk about my size? Can't talk about my trim. Exactly, or like, I've got a fresh face for you. Yeah, you know? but um, yeah, things like that always used to like get to me. But like now, it's just like I feel comfortable walking into rooms. Yeah, and um, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep going, just try to stay healthy because you know I'm pushing thirty now. So I just like I start thinking about like when I have children, like yeah. I got a nephew now. So like when he's running around, if I was bigger, I'm trying to chase, chase it. him. Yeah. So um, yeah. I just the goal is just to keep going and just maintain and just push further. Yeah. This year. Oh, I love that. Mm. That's so wholesome. Mm. I'm happy for you. I'm happy that you're also feel like mentally like, you're finding that balance as Appreciate well. Because that, that. that I think that just that overrides everything mm. regardless. Mm. So I'm really happy to hear that. And I'm yeah, I'm really proud of you. Well done. Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank and you. okay, so any last words to the listeners, the viewers, any advice for any men who might kind of resonate with you and your um, story? Advice wise, I'd just say, um, you just have to think long term like you can't do what you want you can't you know go on a diet for two weeks and you don't see the results you want quit like you just have to keep going because yeah it is a it's got it's a grind like you have to yeah think about everything you're gonna do in advance as well like you know if you got i know dinner with your friends on friday like cool what are you gonna do during the week to like yeah kind of make that dinner acceptable yeah yeah like, yeah um so yeah i think think long term stay disciplined and just know that you know Rome wasn't built in a day for all. Like you have to like yeah. think this is gonna take a while, but it's trust me, it's worth it. Like just to wake up happier. You know, you go outside, people treat you different. Like the girls, <laughs> people treat you different. The uh, girls, people <laughs> treat. <you different. laughs> um, so yeah, so it's all worth it in the end. Um, so yeah, that's my advice. Love that. Mm. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for coming. Appreciate that. Thank you for inviting me. And, no, like, it's been listen. We we went through this together, so I said I gotta get my boy Collins on Appreciate here to to talk that. about his story. So thank you guys for listening, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this to share this to your male friends. Share this to your boyfriends, or like you know, just men in general. Because mm. I think like stuff this stuff men need to listen to and hear as well. So thank you guys once again. Please, please, please subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Bye, guys. And it's the wrap. How was that? I, I, I feel like I didn't say anything. Did I give advice? <laughs> <laughs>